Das ist ein bisschen hart, so. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the Boston Championship. Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Loader alongside my friend and colleague, Frank Novello. It is a gorgeous fall day here in Massachusetts, TPC Boston, site of the Deutsche Bank Championship, part of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Frank, a really good golf course and highly respected by the best players in the world. It certainly is. Gives them an opportunity to score. Uh, Gil Hans, Brad Faxon, they made some uh, really good changes over the years, giving it that New England look, that old bunker style. And of course, uh, they've had a PGA Tour event here all the way back to 2003. And let's go down to the first. Stepping up to the first tee, sight set on posting another low number here in round two. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. Oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Good swing, good shot yet again. So a chance for birdie after another solid approach shot. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. All right, good putt. The rhythm of that stroke. Didn't try and bash it in the back. Nice to see a par five this early in the round. Gettable, Frank? Yeah, good tee shot. Certainly a good chance here for going for this for two. But if you stray with that tee shot, be careful on the layup. It gets really narrow up by the green. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Well, that was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. And now a putt from 24 feet away. Oh, I thought he had that. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Has it for another birdie. Two holes, two birdies. Hole number three here at TPC Boston. It is a par three. Frank, are you happy walking off with par here? Well, if you've birdied the first two holes, there's a chance here to be greedy. Frank, high-level players are, are never terribly disappointed to play from the fringe, and that's where this ball has ended up. Yeah, it, it could have been better, it could have been worse, but in the end, you just get nothing, nothing much you can do about it now. A couple of choices coming up. Yay! 
Been this way all day. Airtight, no mistakes, solid shot. And yet another green in regulation. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Another one goes in. Frank, at 298 yards, the fourth is reachable for just about every professional. What might scare them off? Well, that bunker on the left, that's really actually a chance to showcase your skills. And that's where you realize how much better professional golfers are. A good bunker play, especially on a hole uh, like four, and then you will get well rewarded. This is a great place for a fan to watch, isn't it? It is. You see so many different short shots around this green. The bunker shots from the left side, if you hit it over the back on the right, the little bump and run through the little valley in the green. Fun hole to watch. Perfectly placed tee shot will set up an eagle opportunity, but then you see quite a few bogeys made here as well. Yeah, if you stray a little bit, leave the ball too far short, and you have to play that pitch across the bunker, that's no fun. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Now comfortably inside that cut line, the former national champ makes birdie. Frank, the fifth hole, beefy at 466 yards. What's the best way to attack here? Well, it's a gentle dog leg left, Rich. That first bunker really doesn't come into play on the right side. The one on the left is the one you've got to be cognizant of. Get something a little right of that, you'll have a uh, second shot around 160, 170 yards there. Frank, right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better if it was on a tee. Frank, the TPC Boston really starts to show its teeth here in the fifth hole. Yeah, beautiful hole. That green up ahead, though, there's three different sections. Obviously, the easy section is that middle one where it just pokes out to the left. Well, that is a ball striking clinic right there. Another dazzling approach shot. Pretty close. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today. Beautifully done. Nice birdie. Ready now at the sixth. It is a tricky 465-yard par four. Yeah, hit it through the chute. Water comes into play a little bit down the left if you're uh, a long hitter. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? Long and straight. That's how you do it. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. This has been a great performance so far, but Frank, a long ways to go. Do you ever worry about complacency? Yeah, sometimes it just looks like it's too easy. At the moment, the putts are going in, the iron shots are going close enough, but uh, some things, you know, they don't happen by, by accident. He's got to still keep concentrating right now. Here we go. And they're close, about eight feet from the cup. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Right now, a big par five, the seventh hole. Yeah, there's a, an interesting feature on this par five. About 100 yards short of the green is that huge cross bunker. So a good tee shot, that shouldn't be a problem. Stray a little, and then your mind is definitely on that. Wait, it is nice to have that one in your bag, to be able to hit it that long. Yeah, that has to be at least 315 yards. Second from an excellent lie. Hey, 
And a chance for Eagle after that perfectly played shot. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Oh, now that is gonna hurt. It's a very makeable putt here. He is currently five under for his round. Frank, this is a player in full flight right now. It looks too easy right now. Hole number eight now, 213 yards in length, a par three. And Frank, what can we expect? Really narrow at the front of this green. A lot of mounding. Ball normally kicks towards the left. One place you don't want to go, though, is that left bunker. The bunker shot's all downhill from there. That's how you play the game, right there. Trying to make yet another birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Hole number nine, Frank, 472 yards. Good par four. Yeah, if you blink, it'll catch you. Oh, that's fine. Frank, you've played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. What's the mindset? Well, this is really what separates the men from the boys. This is where you've got to tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it into a head breeze. But um, if down breeze, tear it up a little bit, try and ride that wind some more. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. And he has it for birdie. Getting set to start the back nine. We're on the tee at the 10th, Frank. No fairway bunkers here to worry about, but a little left or a little right, you'll find the hazard. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. No, oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. Frank, this is an important approach shot because our featured player was really good early, a little bit shaky of late. This is a point in time where you need to get it back. Yeah, you almost need to stop, just stand still for a second, uh, almost just flush it out because at the moment you're starting to look right and left at the trouble. Let's get back to what worked. Let's start looking where we want the ball to go, where the flag is, and start going there. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Locked in on the read and the speed. He takes care of business there. Solid strike. Frank, given all of the trouble that you can get into here at this par 311th, You'd have to say that a player is going to be happy walking off with three. Yeah, it's one of the biggest greens on the golf course, Rich. And, and too often people try and go a little uh, flag hunting. If the flag's on the right side, you don't want to pay the price by finishing up in the bunker. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Well read.
Frank, the 12th looks to be a pretty straightforward par four. Just uh, bends to the left. There's a big sort of crop of mounds on that right side. Uh, if you can just go a little left of those, you get a nice kick forward. Rich, there's great drivers of the ball. We've seen Norman necklace over the years, but uh, that there is just excellent. Lovely full turn, plenty of power, and just piped it. Made it look easy right there, and he, he's such a good-looking player. When he's dialed in, swinging the way he is right now, just a pleasure to watch. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Hard putt, soft hands, beautiful putt. Ball's teed up at the par 4 13th. And you want to keep that ball in the air as much as you can. Carry that air on the left side. That's a big tee shot. Somewhere in that sort of 300 yard mark. Set. New member of the 300 yard club. Good poke right there. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. You know, this is a green light special. Good looking shot right here. Onto the putting surface, some 11 feet from the cup. Getting set now over the putt. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for pop. Continues to hold that sizable lead on the rest of the field. Frank the 14th, this is a dogleg left, 495 yards, another case where the driver will set everything up. But you have to avoid those mounds on the left. They'll just snag your ball. Boy, this one has a chance to be really good. Good contact, good result. Wow, he moved that a long way right in the fairway. VJ Singh, Charlie Hoffman, and Big Henrik Stenson, they all have one thing in common. They all tied for the low tournament score at TPC Boston, 22 under. And they're all good. Yeah, this is a golf course that uh, obviously gives in to the longer hitters. And if there's just a little bit of sting taken out of the greens, then these long hitters have a huge advantage. At the 15th, that the was nice. With your caddy on this tee shot, yeah. Which club, which line, series of bunkers down the left. That one short right doesn't really come into play. Nice eagle. Another one, really, fairway first. Tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. You can't hide the flagstick from that man. 
He is just uh, unbelievable, that. That never deviated offline. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Makes the putt for a birdie. Frank, here at the 16th, you really see this sort of New England character, don't you? Yeah, that stone wall now protects that sort of two-tiered green. And uh, it, it, it sort of showcases the golf course. It, it just fits in beautifully with what Hans and Faxon have done to the golf course. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. I'll tell you, he's setting himself up for a good weekend. A former college number one makes another birdie. Frank, the 17th here at TPC Boston underwent quite a radical change. Yeah, that renovation um, and that redesign that they did, um, it, it, it changed the character of the hole, but they still kept that big mound in the middle of the green. So that second shot is still punishing if you misjudge it. And players nursing the lead, they might want to think about playing it safe down the right side, but if you're trying to make up some ground, you could uh, try to fly the church pews that divide the fairway and it's yeah, high. And that would give you a nice short wedge in. Yeah, give you a short wedge in, but really the risk, is it worth it? Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Good putt. Frank, the 18th tier at TPC Boston, for whatever reason, generates quite a bit of buzz, doesn't it? It does. The longer hitters, obviously, they lick their chops. They're having a chance to uh, to make this green in two. But if you find one of the fairway bunkers, the addition of that pot bunker um, for the layup, that just it makes that decision that much more difficult. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. And now the second shot here at this par five. Another laser right at the flagstick. These putts keep the round together. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. And now he has this for the birdie. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. There you have it. The second round is complete. Another solid effort put together, and it shows on the scorecard. And after two rounds, you really start to see uh, not only who's playing well, but who's consistent. Shout out to Mad NFL 2020 coming on yesterday. 
Timothy Naruto. I've ran out. 